Let's look at one more problem involving functions of random variables. Uh, we have seen this particular problem before uh, when we were discussing uh, join distributions last week and um, we wanted to do two things. One is find the value of k uh, which you see here and we also wanted to find uh, the probability that h plus t was less than a certain number. So now we are going to look at this problem uh, and see if we can use the same uh, joint density function uh, to do a transformation of variables. And uh, let's just define uh, two variables, uh, v and a. Uh, as you see on the screen, uh, they have units of velocity and acceleration, but they are by no means uh, those quantities. Uh, the question is that what is the joint density of v and a if uh, the joint density of h and t uh, is as you see on the screen and the relation uh, between h and t and v and a uh, are as given. So uh, we proceed as before and uh, we invert the relation first and then obtain uh, the Jacobian of the transformation. So uh, we can do the uh, calculus and the Jacobian is v squared divided by a cubed. Uh, now, because the way we have defined the Jacobian, um, f of va uh, is equal to the Jacobian times the f of h t. And if you do the algebra, then uh, we get uh, the functional form uh, as you see on the screen. Uh, we have to be careful about the limits. Uh, unlike uh, in the H and T space, uh, they are not fixed, but uh, they are functions of each other. Uh, so if we can present uh, the region of uh, the H T space and the corresponding V A space where the density functions are non-zero, uh, you can see that uh, the rectangle in the HT space uh, transformed to something a little more interesting looking in the VA space. Now, the joint density function, uh, because of that transformation, also uh, looks very different. Uh, so in HT space, it was just a, a plane. Uh, an inclined plane, uh, but when we transform uh, and go to the VA space, it actually looks uh, substantially different, and that's what you see uh, on the on the screen. Um, and we could also, from the joint density function, just just um, uh, to see what uh, what we uh, what things look like, uh, we can find out what the marginal densities of uh, H and T are. Uh, you can just integrate the joint density and get these, and they are basically uh, decreasing linear functions, uh, and that's what we get. Uh, these plots are obtained by simulation, and uh, we will look at that uh, uh, when we take up Monte Carlo simulations. Maybe we can come back to this problem. And uh, we can also find uh, the joint density function uh, from from the joint density function of V and A we can find the marginals the marginal densities of V and A and that's what uh, we get so uh, H and T those linear densities uh, transform to something uh, which look very different uh, for V and A